We all have routines on Sunday mornings. Many of us still go outside to pick up the newspaper. Well, some Chesapeake neighbors did that today, and they found a disturbing flyer on the doorstep. Tenure Sides Furlan Webster Jr. reports the message was from the KKK. In this quiet Chesapeake neighborhood, the community believes in unity. We call it the ice cream neighborhood. There's a little bit of flavor, all kinds of flavors here. It was my grandmother's neighborhood. It's old and neighborhoody, and cats walk across the street. And um, but on this Sunday morning, you know, residents were greeted with an unusual sight as they walked out of their homes. Um, Christina Bishop lives on Hawthorne Avenue. Help save our race. And Everything just like her neighbors, she received a flyer. Everything we cherish is under assault by Zog. Which baffles her. It's a KKK guy with a, a Dixie flag. That flyer that they put out, they, I, I wish I would have seen it because I'd have run them out of here myself if I could have. But Chesapeake police are taking care of the problem themselves and are ridding the neighborhood of what neighbors consider a disgusting joke. I don't know any other word besides surreal. It's disgusting and pathetic. This community's bond is strong and they won't be broken so easily. I don't know why the KKK would have thought passing out flyers in here would have been a productive thing for them. Actually, it was probably more unproductive. You know, I mean, it's a sickness. It's outdated and ridiculous and absurd. Uh, it should never have been an issue, but certainly not today. And there's a message they want to make clear. Don't do it here. We don't want it, we don't need it, and we're not gonna have it. In Chesapeake, Furlan Webster Jr., 10 on your side. The flyer is from a group called the Loyal White Knights of the KKK. It has a North Carolina phone number on it, and it's still not clear why the flyers were only left in that Chesapeake neighborhood.